So I was talking to my computer because I'm obviously Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory, and I'm like, computer, give me something good for uploading today. And then my computer's like, yeah, that's that's a good one. You're funny, you know, having a good upload for today. Because I have like my really good ones, say for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Like if you had to give them a grade, like the A and B ones would be like that, and then like the C's would be like Tuesday and Thursday. So I don't really have like a mental rated like C game other than this, which is a really fucking old game I had against Rick like months months ago and um the reason i hadn't uploaded it since is because i actually gave it to show food to guest narrate it but it's been a long time you know he's probably forgotten or something like that it's okay either way if you're watching this you know i'll get you a different one if you're really interested in doing that but um yeah that's why i'm showing it off today because you know it's been sitting there for a while and uh it's probably getting moldy and shit but might as well so he leads off with his rodent heat. I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with my Kabutops that I was using uh, for a while back in the day, the uh, the Focus Sash Weak Armor set. He does suspect this, you know, after seeing the Kabutops in the team preview, so he leads off with a uh, special threat, then goes immediately out into another special threat, predicting my waterfall. I don't really care what happens to this Kabutops as long as it gets the rocks up just fine. Um, I don't really see that he has any spinners on his team. He actually has a decent amount of things weak to the stealth rocks too. What with the uh, the Scolipede and the Rotom, and I think there might have been one other thing off the top of my head, but. Um, he lead sheets me, I guess, predicting a switch as I go for the Stone Edge. Uh, I know he's only going to get one HP back from this, you know, uh, on top of his lefty, so it benefits me a hell of a lot more to just uh, be safe here, stay in. You know, if he wants to go for the Seed Flare to take me out, fine. If he doesn't, then he doesn't really end up getting back too much. But I have my Scarf Togekiss here, and uh, this is back in the day before I changed its name. He goes for the Protect to see what move I'm going to lock myself in on. I think he might know at this point in the game that this one is Scarf because he's watched some of my older uploads and stuff, so he wants to see what I'm going to lock myself in on. Switches out, you know, decides to go into his Rotom. It is going to take some damage from the Stealth Rocks, which combined from that is... You know, whatever, that's fine. Um, turns out I actually end up missing the Air Slash, so I get zero damage on this turn. And it actually does show me that he's lefties as opposed to Choice Scarf or, you know, anything else like that. So that's pretty cool, I guess. But for now, I, don't, I was kind of expecting him to go for, you know, the obvious electric move, which is why I go into my Jolteon. This is a Choice Specs Jolteon, so I'm using a couple of Choice Pokes on this team. Don't really use this thing too often because I am really shaky about Thunder. But if you run this thing in the rain, this thing hurts. I've pro I've been thinking about running this uh, in rain because that's a Choice Specs Thunder. It does a pretty decent amount to Rotom, I suppose, you know, with resistance and whatnot. But uh, I might as well drop one. I was mainly fishing for the paralysis, so I can just go out and go into something else. And then uh, we'll just be good to go. That's probably the status condition I'll want on it, I guess. So go for another Thunder. I'm just dropping Choice Specs Thunders in the hopes that he'll switch. But he's not, and whatever. You know, he'll probably end up taking me out with a couple of hidden powers. And, you know, after the burn damage and stuff. Let's get something straight. I haven't seen this match in quite some time. <laughs> oh, man. I, like, I figured it'd be more fun to narrate it blind. I knew there was a, a really big reason that he didn't want me to upload it right away. But uh, I really can't figure out what. Like, he didn't object to the fact that I had it saved I guess but I'm gonna go for the tri attack hopefully knock it out from that range because that is stab and um, yeah you know I get a crit here which I don't know whether or not that mattered I don't know if he's specially defensive maybe that's why he was a little upset but he goes into his Conkeldur now and uh, since I'm not locked in on air slash very obviously gonna get out of there decide to go into my Azelf to either take the drain punch or the mock punch or if he wants to go for the bulk up uh, this is my physical Azelf, so I probably won't be doing that much of a better job, but he actually has a hammer arm, so it's like, maybe Choice Banded something like that? I don't know, I've never seen hammer arm on a Conkeldur before, but I guess it kind of makes sense because it's already slow. There's the other Stealth Rock Week thing. Okay, so, go for the Zen Headbutt, and I'm thinking it should do a decent amount of damage, and it does around... Oh, it kills it. Okay, so that's a good amount. That's a... I'll take that amount. That's a pretty good amount, if you ask me. But... In comes Cujo, which Cujo is the... <laughs> God damn it, the fucking movie. I just remember that. But he has quick attack on this thing. And that kind of makes sense coming from a Guts one, which I think that's what he actually is. So, you know, scary, poison, Guts, Flareon. <laughs> scary and Flareon. I can't believe I use those in the same sentence. I'm so funny today. But all I can really do right now is decide to go for the Night Slash since uh, I don't really think I have anything super effective against Flareon, which is probably why I went into this. But he is predicting that. Actually, okay, I went for the fake out. That kind of makes sense to stall out for some more poison damage. Okay, okay. But gonna go for the ice shard because I am kind of predicting the uh, the mock punch. Might as well get some damage off. I don't really care if this thing dies as long as I have Togekiss safe. Uh, then I'm good to go. Get a little bit of damage off so, you know, air slash is a sure kill. And uh, we'll just roll from there. So 
Weavile well dies. I've uh, been using Weavile well a lot lately. That was back in the day when I didn't fucking care about Weavile, well, to be completely honest. But I know I can take a Mach Punch pretty damn easily because I got a Breloom. So I'm, I think I tried to go for the Spore here, completely forgetting about Flareon, and it's like, oh, you know, status fodder, but it does take Stealth Rocks and a little bit of toxic damage as well, so that's not to say that turn was a complete waste. But uh, I don't know how fast Flareon is, so I figure I might as well just go for the Seed Bomb and uh, see if that ends up taking it out. And it doesn't! Oh, why? I don't understand why it doesn't take it out, but a Guts boosted Fire Fang? Oh my god, Guts Flareon actually killed something. This match is retarded. I, uh, how, did he, how did he do that? I don't get it. <laughs> Whatever. Um, anyway, double down. I do have a... Uh, t I think I remember why he didn't want me uploading this, because I proceeded to sweep the uh, the rest of his team with Scarf Togekiss. That's probably why. Sorry, buddy. Anyways, um, I think that'll do it for the game, because he's got Scolipede. I think everything he has left is weak to Air Slash, and um, I don't know how I played myself into that situation, but it worked out, um, and that's pretty cool. I mean, Rick, if you have a uh, embarrassing match against me you'd like to upload... In the upcoming future, you're welcome to go for it. Just I figured this has been sitting in my folder for God knows how long. But I guess he keeps protecting for no reason other than to just yell at me, proceed to yell at me. This might have been the live stream or something like that. And he's like, no, this is fucking stupid. You know, things along those lines, whatever Rick would happen to be saying. But, um, mm. get a crit there too. Just to be super funny like that. Anyways, he's got his Kunk Kelder left because I'm at full punch. I, uh, full punch? Full health? I can take a mock punch, but he decides not to go for it. Maybe on the off chance that this air slash doesn't kill him, he can, you know, revenge kill him with a drain punch or something like that. Or hammer arm, whatever. But uh, that's going to be the game. It's a little bit of a shorter one, but it's what I got for today. I'm thinking about, uh, well, I do have one for tomorrow, as I previously mentioned. You know, I got better games for the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then I have these other games for Tuesday and Thursday. It's just like I have those good games, and then I have really fucking short ones for like double headers and stuff. And that's it. You know, that's all I really got. But, um, yeah, we got that going on. Because of me running out of material, I'm considering streaming maybe two or three times this week. For, once for sure on Thursday. And then uh, I'll look into doing it again on Saturday. We'll see what happens. Um, for sure, one more time on the weekend. Um, and, yeah, that should do it for today's game. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow.